Hi everyone, I'm Elise Mayfield and this is Sweets with Elise. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sweets with Elise. I'm Elise and I'm so glad that you're here today. Oh, it is beautiful, hot summertime outside now. And we are gonna be making a summer berry Swiss roll cake. So as you can see, I have already gotten started. I am just whipping up an angel food cake box mix. So this is just the mix and water. You know, you can do some tricks with some other cake mixes like replacing oil with butter or water with milk. But for an angel food cake, you're really going to wanna to just use water. So this is already beautifully puffy because of the egg whites in this cake mix that are uh, puffing up. So you can throw this in a stand mixer, but you can also just whisk this by hand with a good old whisk. So I'm gonna keep mixing this guy up real quick before he overflows out of the bowl. <laughs> All right, with an angel food cake mix, you're gonna wanna get this from the bowl to the pan as quickly as possible. Those egg whites are doing a lot of hard work right now to be puffy. And so once you've gotten everything combined and it's nice and fluffy, you'll wanna start transferring to a pan. So, I have got, this is gonna go against all of your instincts, it goes against mine, but we have an ungreased jelly roll pan. Ungreased, I know, but that's what the box says, and it is true. You really want to use something that is ungreased for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my batter. I've noticed when the egg whites are really fluffy, you may not be able to fit everything into the jelly roll pan, but this is the ideal size for the cake that we're gonna make. Okay, start with that amount. You could always use the extra and make a couple of little cupcakes, or if you had a, a little loaf pan, you could do it that way too. In the meantime, I've had my oven preheating to 350, so it's 350 for an aluminum, aluminum pan or 325 if you're using a non-stick jelly roll pan. Just a little bit more. Oh, I love the almond extract in this cake mix. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go into the oven for at 350 for about 30 minutes. You'll wanna check it starting at about 25, but I found that the sweet spot is 28 to 30 minutes. So our cake has been out of the oven for about 10 minutes. You don't really wanna let it cool for too much longer than that. So our next step, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cutting board set up here. You're gonna need a kitchen towel. Now I recommend that you get one that's like a flour sack cloth. You don't want one that's like a terry cloth that's gonna have lots of little cotton loops or anything. You want one that's gonna be kinda of smooth. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and get some powdered sugar on my towel. One, this is a little for sweetness, but honestly, it's mostly to keep your cake from sticking because now we need to roll our cake so we can make that famous Swiss roll shape. So we need the cornstarch that's in the powdered sugar to help us with our cake, make sure it doesn't stick to the towel. All right, so this part is never super pretty, but we're gonna try to get this cake out. So I have already run a knife around the sides. When it first came out of the oven, I ran a knife around the side, and now I'm just using my offset spatula to start this process. This is gonna be a slowly but surely sort of process here. All right, she's out. Okay, so now that our cake is completely unrolled, it's okay if she doesn't look super pretty, she's gonna be covered in frosting. We still have to like put her dress on, you know? 
But while your cake is still warm, you're gonna wanna roll it up. Now the great thing about using angel food cake is that it is super bouncy. So our likelihood of breaking the cake during this is pretty low, but you're gonna use your towel to wrap this cake into a tight little roll. So just use your towel to guide your cake. Okay, roll, roll, roll. Now you're gonna wanna just let this finish cooling wrapped in the towel seam side down, there's my seam, for about an hour. And then you'll come back and finish it. All right, I'm gonna take this away to go let it cool. All right, so we've had our cake cooling for about an hour wrapped in a towel. So before we unroll it, I'm gonna go ahead and make our filling. So I've got some Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese here and I'm just gonna use about a half container. It's about a half cup. But you don't have to be exact on this filling. But we're gonna use about a half of a container. And then I've got some good old Cool Whip. You know, Cool Whip was invented by a chemist named William Mitchell. And he also invented a lot of other really great products like Tang and Pop Rocks and powdered egg whites, which is what was in our cake mix. So really this recipe is compliments of Dr. William A. Mitchell. All right, so I'm gonna use about a cup and a half of Cool Whip. And I'm just gonna stir that together. You'll wanna make sure that your uh, cream cheese is room temperature or this will be harder to kind of get together. Now, if you were using real whipped cream, I would tell you to be a little bit more gentle with this, but Cool Whip tends to hold its air a little bit better than homemade. Okay, now that our filling is ready, we'll unroll our cake, fill her, and roll her right back up. Let's check out our little cake. All right, so we're gonna gently, gently unroll. Perfect. So we don't wanna make it flat again. I'm gonna go ahead and let that stay. The wonderful thing again about doing an, using angel food cake is that the egg whites and the sponginess of the cake really helps. So I'm using a mixed berry jam. And I'm just gonna spread a thin layer of jam all over the inside of the cake. Now when I get to make this at home, I use these beautiful homemade preserves from my husband's grandfather's garden. But use whatever jam or jelly you happen to have. But for summer, of course, a berry is delicious. You're gonna use about a half jar of jam for this. We've got our jam there, and now, help that keep its shape. We'll add our Cool Whip and cream cheese filling. my offset to fill this evenly. And now we need to re-roll our cake. So I'm gonna use my same dish towel to kind of help me guide this cake back into its shape. Now I like to kind of give myself a little bit of extra filling right here in what I know is gonna be the center of the cake. Gently, gently use that towel to help. And then keep going. 
So I'm using the tension from the towel to help this kind of roll over itself. Okay. Now you might have a little filling come out, that's okay. Just spread it in a little even layer. You can put some on the sides again. All right. So the last step of this is that I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna roll it in some saran wrap to help it stay. And then we'll chill this for at least two hours before we slice into it and serve. All right, so our cake has been chilling out for a little while. We're gonna unroll it and get ready to serve it. There it is. Okay. Summerberry Swiss roll. So our cake is unwrapped now. And usually I would recommend before you serve this, you're going to want to cut the ends off. Those are kind of a chef's treat because they won't be quite as pretty as the rest of the roll cake. You can see a lovely little pinwheel of filling there. So we are going to go ahead and cut those ends off. But she's looking good, she's looking swirly. All right, now go ahead and cut some thick rolls, some thick slices of this, because people want like a whole piece of cake, you know? Now she's a little sticky, so make sure you've got a, a towel for yourself. <laughs> All right. But to fix that problem, we are going to do another, one more little dusting with powdered sugar. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. Kind of artfully arrange them. There we go. And it wouldn't be a summer berry cake without some fresh fruit. So we're gonna go ahead and add some beautiful strawberries. We're gonna add some blackberries. Blueberries, of course. Oh, and my favorite, a personal fave, some raspberries. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit more of our cake on the platter. And that's our recipe. So I hope that you enjoyed the recipe today. If you make this, please let me know. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you next month for Sweets with Elise. Bye.